Hey everybody, ZachMarins92 here with a very special unboxing for you guys today. By the previous um, thumbnail, on uh, previous video, you know what's going to be... Well, by the previous video, by the thumbnail and title of this video, you know what's going to be for... Pokemon TCG Lockdown Theme Deck from, I believe the year was, it says, 1999. So this thing's almost 20 years old, 20 years old next year, but it's going to be open for the very first time and it is factory sealed. Got this for, I think, $35, almost $40. But definitely worth it, because I've never had a theme deck of the original sets. I have opened packs from them several times when I was a child, but I haven't gotten any of like the Wizards of the Coast packs since then. And I really love the cover art with the fossil symbol there, Magmar, looking all sweet and awesome. I'm probably not going to really put these into my binders of cards. Probably going to keep them in this little package set. Um, just so that way I can keep them in, like, mint condition as possible. But yeah, this thing looks really sweet. I was debating on this one and a, two, a couple others to buy on, on eBay. Um, but this seller got this here fast. I only ordered this, like, two days ago, and it's already here. No, two? Yeah, it was, it was two days ago. But, man, this got here really quick. Um, let's see. Put the power in your hand with the Pokemon trading card game. Dig into these pre-construct theme decks to discover new Pokemon strategies, and soon you'll be a master of, of the official Pokemon trading card games. Shut down your opponent's offense with the lockdown deck and attack at will. In this box you'll find 60 cards, 10 damage counters, 1 coin, and 1 rulebook. These, um, this pre-construct theme deck contains a combination of cards from earlier sets as well as from the fossil. Expansion sometimes in multiples to make this a strong deck for battling your friends But man, this is amazing. I haven't seen like old-fashioned brand new Pokemon cards in ages And in maybe a next separate video I'm not sure if I want to do it today or not But if you really want me to I can show you my entire Pokemon card collection. I have two binders. This is just one of them the other is If I can get it Hold on one sec stuck and I got plenty more. I even just a few days ago put my old wrappings from my original, well not original, about 10 year old packs or so. I, um, 9 to 10 year old packs. I put them on the front of my cover of my binder with my cards inside. I can show you that some other time if you want. But let's get this bad boy open. It shows a Lapras, so I'm hoping that's what's actually inside this. This is the reason why I wanted this one specifically other than the one with like coughing on the front. And there were other older sets too that like contained like a Chansey and some other theme decks. But it looks like the coin might be an Aerodact Aerodactyl coin. Which would be interesting. I'm trying to get this fo to focus. There we are. But yeah, never been opened for 19 years this year. So... Anyone who loves nostalgic stuff, please leave the video. Don't dislike or hate me just because I'm opening something that's old. I know it's old. And I know it's not the most expensive thing ever in Pokemon, especially the TCG. Um, but I'm thrilled to get this and actually open this. Oh, that seal broke easy. But yeah, this thing has not been opened um, before, obviously. Uh, let's see if I can get this. I'm done without damaging the box any because I really want to keep this in mint condition. But this is exciting. I have not, like I said, seen old cards in mint condition in years. Um, there we go. Put the shrink wrap nicely off. It's like mint condition. How on earth did people keep this in perfect condition for almost 20 years? But this is beautiful. Absolutely love this. Wizards of the Coast. They were the original Pokemon TCG creators. In terms of, I mean, like, the card um, creators, I should say. Let's see. This should show. But, yeah, this is really nice. I am really thrilled about this. But, yeah, this says 1999. I believe right here. Yeah. So, this is old, but let's see if I can get this open without ruining it. Oh, it's, oh, it opens on the side. Okay. 
a little bit disappointing. I was hoping it would open from the top and you just pull it out, but... Wait, why does it say this side up? Why is it saying this side up? Does this actually come open? I'm trying to do this with gently. No, it does not open. So, I'm going to gently... This is like nerve-wracking. I'm really nervous. I don't want this to bend or break. Rats. I don't know how to do this without damaging the box. Because it's too beautiful to break. <laughs> Great. I should have thought of something to get this out of here beforehand. Quiet birds. I can hear in the background. Okay. Yeah, nicely done. No dents. Cool. Ooh, that is nice. On this side, you can see what's all in there. Let's see if I can get this out. Oh. Okay, that fell out, but wow. Here we are. We got the, looks like an Aerodactyl coin. It's not em em embedded like it would be for the newer coins nowadays. But in the back, it looks amazing. Look at that. Brand new. You can see the little energy symbols right there. Wizards of the coast. Then I don't know what these marbles were for. I think they said like damage counters back then. But um, I do not want to open this for the obvious reasons. I'm not going to play the game. I collect. Um, let's see. What's this? We got the cards. I'll set that aside gently. Who? Cool. Okay, so we got this little thing here. Card list back from 1999. That is amazing. I'll go a little slow so that way you guys could see what is all on this as much as possible. Oh, this actually folds out kind of like in a mini poster thing. Yeah, there were other sets that I could have oh, I gotten. Give it full view. Really nice. So if I can get this in view, I'm gonna try my best to get this. It's green, so you can see it. And the back also has some more. So can, there we go. I think it might be focused. It's hard to tell from this angle. But I'm going to gently place this back down. And this little roll book. This is like in really nice condition. Look at that. Pokemon, gotta catch them all rule book. This is a beautiful little, little book. Look at this. This is just so amazing. Man, nostalgic overload. The first page of the rule book. Little Pikachu. I'm not gonna really like open them all up, but I'm gonna show you as much as at least the first few pages as possible. We got this with like a little chance of coin on top. Then we got a picture of a card I'd never owned, but I have seen personally um, in front of me before. Never owned one. Never owned a Charizard card. Never could afford one. Don't think I ever will afford afford one. This thing was actually like thirty. I've not said. I'm sure if I said this before or not, but I haven't um, like opened up old Pokemon cards in ages. Then they had like this little. Post it thing like send your stuff in to get stuff. Yeah. And then, huh, card positions. All right. Well, I'm just glad this is legit and not like fake. Yep. Yeah. Because I don't like getting, you know, tricked into buying fake things. I have bought and fake stuff before, but it wasn't on purpose. Like that, there was this retro unboxing was going to do for Heart Gold version I bought. Um, I, well, I 
wanted to get a couple months back, but it turned out to be a fake game. Someone made a fake game and sold it to the game store, and they didn't realize it was fake. I'm glad I showed them that. But there we go with the nice little um, booklets. Then we got the cards here. We got the holographic Lapras card. This is one of my favorite Kanto Pokemon, and well, it can be better than my Pikachu. Pikachu's my favorite. But um, Lapras is definitely one of my favorites, especially from like the anime. And seeing a holographic one in mint condition, this is amazing. I want to open this so bad, but I'm so afraid of messing this beautiful card up. I could put it into like a sleeve. Just like a regular standard sleeve and then try to fit it back into this little box. But... Might as well get something out for it. I want to use my Ho-Oh sleeve, but I don't know. I'm not sure if it would be better off than just a standard. Probably just a standard, but I'll just use a regular sleeve for now. Okay. Got my sleeve ready for the Lapras. Oh, this is going to hurt me just as much as it's going to hurt everybody else who loves this old-fashioned stuff, like me. Man, a holographic brand new card. That looks so stunning. Water Gun Confuse Ray. I'm going to give a little bit of a better look on this as much as I can. There we go. Lapras. Yeah. While they package this tight. Thankfully, I got something a little bit sharp to kind of get this open. Mm. But yeah, there we go. A little bit open. Very nice. Nice. There we go. Ah, don't get caught now. I think I got it. And gently take the wrapping off. Gently. There we are. Beautiful, holographic, brand new Labyrinth card. This looks stunning to no end. Oh, wow. Man, I forgot how amazing these cards were, brand new. Gently placing this into a sleeve. There we are. Now it's in a protective little sleeve. I wish had one of those like hard sleeves. Then on the cards we got, we got a Magmar. Let's see, I can't remember if he was an like, uncommon here. He was, he was just an uncommon. Oh, it came with a couple of Magmars, nice. We got some horsies, we got some nostalgia. You know what, maybe we should put like these to the back. More horsey, more horsey. Oh. Another horsey, Cedra, another Cedra, Crabby, nice, there we go, ooh a Kingler, why am I not surprised though, man these cards feel so different compared to the cards nowadays, the newer cards as much as I like them they feel so flimsy comparatively, oh yeah that's the error, Vulpix 2, where I had the HP 15 instead of 50 HP. Kind of like how these are supposed to be. This is nice. With the pony tie, then we got this Gambler card. Wow. These cards, though, are something else. Then we got Build, we got Switch, we got plenty of the Switch cards of the old and new. And we got a Potion. We got super potions. We got full heal. Yeah, full heal. Ooh, we got some energies, the classic energies. Yeah, that is so amazing. 1999, Wizards of the Coast. Don't judge me. Oh, new card smell. Oh, 
20 year old new card smell. Almost. Still smells great though. At the same time as bad at the same time. Um, but, wow, okay, that's a lot of energies. A lot of energies. Okay, energies. Enough of the energies. Oh, we got some water. Got some, a ton of water energies, and then I think we're back to the beginning. Yep, because the rest are just water energies. But how did that make you guys feel? That made me feel old. Pokemon came out in the United States when I was only six. Um, I didn't really get into the games until Gold version. Um, I got into the cards back in Gen 1 and the anime in Gen 1, but the games I wasn't really allowed until I was a little older, so um, I didn't get that until Gold version. But tell me about the nostalgic trip that this took you through, because it took me through huge nostalgia. Now I'm going to gently put these back in. <laughs> Tell me guys and, and girls what you think of about this in the comments below. Do you want me to grab more of these sometime soon and do them on my channel? I'm definitely planning on doing some more of something like this. There is another video coming up soon sometime by either Monday or Tuesday. Hoping for you guys looking forward to it. I hope you enjoyed this classic um, trip to the past. And see you guys next time. God bless.